So one of the most fundamental and important facts of reducing drag is getting the proper head position. And like so many things in swimming, the head position is a compromise between power and drag. The best position for the head to be in to reduce drag is with the body in alignment, getting the head back with each stroke. So we see just a little stream of water, just a trickle go over your goggle. When you're going for power, it's better to be here so the head is up a little bit. So you actually have to go between head down position and head up position. When the hand enters, when you're in your fastest point in the cycle, that's when you want the head back. But when you take the stroke, that's when the head has to come up. So you're actually moving the spine up and down, up and down. But getting the head back is critical. A lot of backstrokers never get there. So how do we teach you that? Well, we start with a simple drill on your back, sculling. So you're going to let your head go back. You're going to kick out to the black line there, sculling with your hands over your head, but allowing the water to come over your face. Okay, so let's start with that. Sculling on the back is a great way to get more comfortable being in a streamlined position for backstroke. World champion Junya Koga from Japan demonstrates a drill that helps swimmers position their heads properly, getting their bodies in alignment with their hips and legs, all moving forward at the surface. This sculling drill also prepares swimmers to feel the early part of their pulling motion. Getting an early catch with the hand on the pull is an important part of developing a fast backstroke. To do this drill properly, lay the head back in the water until it comfortably aligns with the body. Stretch the arms fully overhead, extending the shoulders and back. Bend the elbows slightly as the hands push together and straighten them as the hands pull apart. Try to feel the pressure of the water in both directions. Maintain a steady kick to create propulsion to move you down the pool. In backstroke, unlike freestyle, where the head has to be down, but you're never sure if the bow wave is going over the top of your head because you can't see that. In backstroke, you get to see the bow wave come over your face when you're swimming. You don't want a river of water coming over your face. You just want a slight trickle of water so you know that at some point, at the most critical point, you've got the head back far enough, okay? So another way of teaching this is just kicking. Tight streamline, but you're going to allow your head to go slightly under the water, come up for breath, keep kicking, allow it to go under, and just come up and back down. Another way we teach swimmers to get their heads in alignment with the body is by kicking with the arms in a streamline on the back. After each breath, the swimmer tilts the head back slightly, allowing it to briefly submerge just beneath the surface of the water. Then the head is raised back up just high enough to take another breath and submerged again. Junior demonstrates how not to swim backstroke with the head held much too high. This is a mistake commonly made because the higher head position helps swimmers with their peripheral vision and knowing where they are in the lane. From this higher position, they can also generate a more powerful pull. Unfortunately, it creates a lot of frontal drag. The bow wave crashes off the top of Junior's head as he plows through the water. Junior's elevated head position causes a poor body position. The hips sink down, the legs are low in the water, creating an unfavorable body angle as he moves forward. When the head is positioned correctly, there should be a small stream of water that can be seen by the swimmer right as the hand enters. This is the fastest point in the stroke cycle and the most important time for the frontal drag to be minimized. By keeping the head lower, the hips and feet rise higher in the water, a much more favorable position with less drag. The head submerges slightly at hand entry and the back straightens slightly for the initiation of the next pull. By moving his head and spine at the correct times, Junior is able to get the most out of his propulsive power while still reducing frontal drag.